Hey folks, Matt from RightOfTheImage.com. Got a question in from a viewer, John Prosser. Hey Matt, really enjoy your YouTube presentations and have really learned a lot and wondered if I could please ask some questions. Thanks, and sure you can. I'm an enthusiast photographer and not a professional. I'm looking to purchase a Nikon D7200 as my first DSLR. Great choice. I am on a limited budget, but so I'm going to try to keep the price down on lenses. But having said that, if I need to spend money to get good quality photos, I will. Otherwise, it is no use to getting a good camera. The camera's main use will be for nature photography, including birds in flight, but not the birds, uh, including birds in flight, but not the birds in flight so much. I guess he means just birds, not necessarily them uh, flying. I have watched a few reviews on the Tamron 70 to 300 f4.5 to uh, f4 to 5.6 DI VC USD, and I'm very impressed with its performance, especially for its price. What do you think of this lens? Also, do I need another lens to make up the gap to the 70 mil range? Maybe the 18 to 105 or something else. Uh, thank you for taking the time to read this, and may God bless you, uh, John. Thanks very much, John. Appreciate the question. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not all that familiar with that lens. I haven't tested it. I should probably get it in because I think it is a popular lens. Um, I'm a little gun shy with Tamron products because I tried their 17, I think it was, to 50 f2.8 um, image stabilized uh, lens that I had on both my Canon bodies and my Nikon bodies. I think I went through three or four versions, even had them service one. I still couldn't get it sharp at f2.8. So since that time, I've been gun shy on, on Tamron, and I've tended to stay away from them. That's not to say this isn't a good lens. Perhaps some other viewers, guys, if you want to chime in, leave a comment below. Let John know if you have this lens or if you shot it and what you think of it. Um, my gut reaction would be to go with the Nikon 70 to 300 millimeter um, VR. Um, I've had that lens, uh, really like it, and um, I didn't have any complaints with it. For the price, it's a great little lens. Um, let's have a look here on Amazon. You're looking at 449 for that Tamron that that 70 to 300 that you're looking at. Um, so it's 450, and you can get the Nikon 70 to 300 for 586, or uh, it looks like as low as 275 used. Maybe consider the Nikon used. Uh, save yourself some bucks and get the Nikon used. Or, as an alternative, you are shooting with the D7200, or that's what you plan to buy. Why not try the 55-300? to uh, It's a DX lens, um, but if you're not planning on stepping up anytime soon, and you wouldn't need to necessarily from a 7200, and if you're buying that, it sounds like that's where you're at. Um, the 55-300 to will get you a little bit... Um, close that range off for you all the way down to 55 um, take you out to 300 same as a 70 to 300 and that is at 396 uh, 95 on Amazon you can actually get them for as low as 187 used so I would maybe look at that um, myself uh, I do tend to on a lot of things stay with the brand name so if you're shooting Canon stay with Canon if you're shooting Nikon stay with Nikon um, I've had some really good luck with the Sigma lenses, especially with the Sigma art lenses. Um, my Sigma 17-50 f2.8 was an exception because it was better than the Nikon 17-55 or whatever it is, f2.8. Uh, also, as good or better than my Canon 17-50 or 55, uh, the equivalents. I've owned all three of them. Uh, but the Tamron in that situation was not. So um, perhaps you can get some feedback from the viewers about the Tamron or consider either the 7300 from Nikon or the 55 to 300 from Nikon, um, either new or used. And, and uh, if used, save some money. It's always nice to save money. And if, if you can uh, actually see a lens when you buy it or, you know, Amazon, you can ship it back if, if you're not happy with it. Um, and it's decent. You've saved yourself quite a bit of money right there. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let's leave some feedback. We'll help them out. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the question, John. And uh, we'll be back soon. Thanks.